Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Naz. Together we're the Office Blokes. Yes, yeah, we are. It is true. Now, where have we got loads and loads of donut operator reactions, Mike? Believe it or not, we've got it on our Patreon channel. <laughs> yeah, so go and look at... I was so convinced that he was going to say, YouTube? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was my first thought. <laughs> See the wheels going. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Try to throw me. Uh, yeah, go to patreon.com, put Office Blokes React. Uh, you can start... Uh, join us and supporting us there for just £1.50 a month. Uh, we've got Family Guy watch longs every Saturday night, 5 o'clock UK time. And we've got US Office watch longs 5 o'clock uh, UK time on Wednesdays. So, yeah, got uh, loads more besides like Donut Operator and stuff like Who? that. Donut Operator. Oh. Who's she? He's a good lad. All right, okay. He's very good. Uh, right, new Donut Operator video. Cops yeah. mag dump the wrong person. Whoosh. That's... Uh, Gonna leave Jamie a mark, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know nothing about the context on this. I feel no. a lawsuit coming up though. Yeah, well, after the acorn one. I know. Hey, oh nice, yeah. That, that I've was... not had anything further on that. No. No, no I, we need I, to look at that. Well the cop resigned, didn't mm. they? And then I guess yeah. legal action, civil legal action can maybe take years on something like yeah, that. Possibly, so yeah. it wouldn't be a two yeah. minute job, would it? So yeah. I'm not expecting yeah. an update on that anytime soon. Yeah. But yeah, let's check this out. Cops mag dump the wrong person, bit of donut. Hi everyone, Donut here. Today's shooting breakdown, we're going to talk about incompetent female officers. That never happens. Two of them, to be exact. I swear to God, after Acorn Cop and, and these chicks, my channel's getting set back by like five years. I stand up for so many good police officers, people who actually make a difference, and then I shit on the bad ones, but then you have this come along and there's like 100 more ACAB people. I'm not shitting on just female police officers. I'm shitting on police officers that make all of the dudes look bad who just want to wear a badge and help people out. This incident has a little bit of an overreaction. We're going to get into it. An overreaction like dumping, I don't know, three or four magazines into an apartment building where someone wasn't doing anything wrong. You know, an apartment building where if there's over penetration of a wall, it could kill a lot of other people. It's an apartment. In an apartment building! You know what big tech and big government have in common? They f***ing hate you. Let's say you love guns like, like I do, like all my friends do. There's a good chance get an extra three months for free with a 12-month plan. Protect your identity and defend your rights today by going to expressvpn.com slash donut operator. That's expressvpn.com slash donut operator. February 3rd, 2024, 2 10 a.m. This video brings us to Houston, Texas, the largest city in America by landmass, which people think is a flex for some reason, or as I like to call it, Atlanta, Texas, which by the way, I'll be in Houston, Texas on March 23rd doing a live taping of the unsubscribe podcast with my boys we're gonna have brandon herrera we're gonna have fat electrician we're gonna have eli double tap we're all gonna be doing a live unsubscribe podcast there tickets you can buy in the link below harris county sheriff i didn't know he did a podcast with a fat electrician no me neither me neither Justin. Yeah. Deputies respond to a call from a woman claiming someone is in her apartment. The first deputy arrives, meets the caller outside, and then clears the apartment without finding anyone. A second deputy arrives on scene to assist, but without finding anyone inside, they decide to leave. They're just gonna head out now. That call is done. But before they can, someone in a neighboring apartment catches up with them, says, hey, someone has broken into another apartment close by. So being police officers, instead of going back onto the roads, they're like, yeah, we should investigate this as well. It's Houston. Someone's breaking into somewhere. So at 2.14 a.m., the two deputies approach the second apartment with their guns drawn. I'm Now, upon the officers ascending the stairs, they get up there and this is what they see. The window had been broken as well as the screen removed. The blinds have also been raised, so yeah, this looks like a break-in. The first officer knocks on the door and announces that she's with the sheriff's department. Sheriff's office! Here, let's go down that way. Standing directly in front of the door is something I probably wouldn't have done. Bullets go through doors. Get away from the door! But she gave the door the best cop knock that she could and announced sheriff's department. The lead officer tells the other officer though, hey, hey, we're not gonna stand in front of the door, we're gonna go back. Then they both kind of go back and they're looking through the window. And then this next thing happens. Sheriff's office! Here, let's go down that way a little bit. Sheriff's 
right in the middle of this this tiny little investigation they're doing where they're made a jump that as well when that alarm went off see, uh, see I, yeah. ran, I ran flinched didn't it yeah i was thinking when they when they're walking up the stairs towards that apartment there was no authority mm. <clears throat> they, they looked scared they were mm. really yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I know anything could happen like it must be scary going yeah. into that situation mm. But you're the boss in that situation, yeah. aren't you? Well, it's a bit sensitive, didn't they? Very really? much so. You've yeah. got to, they've got to be in charge mm. and you've got to be commanding. Yeah. And it was like, yeah, but you, you never know. You pointed a gun at you. You at don't. The same time, but know. that's surely that's the job is that you're going into situations like yeah. that because mm. if you don't take command of it, then the perp or the bad guy yeah. or whatever is going to, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. It's very shaky so far. It like is, you said, it it, they, she jumped go, out. Of go back really when, when that alarm went yeah. off. You see an on switch. Yeah. Right in the middle of this this tiny little investigation they're doing where there might be a possible break in the car alarm starts going off. The officers who are kind of looking through the window see someone approach with a handgun. Let's say you're a woman, you hear a car alarm going off, you hear someone pounding on your door, you can't quite hear sheriff's office. I, I mean, you approach the, the door with a gun, possibly. Oh, it's it's like it's it's entirely, entirely possible. That. That's the great equalizer when it comes to protecting yourself with a firearm. Gun control is actually pretty sexist and racist. Everyone should be able to protect themselves with a firearm. And then these officers just completely mag dump on this lady. I don't know what the f this grip is right here. Crossing thumbs on that gun, it's not the, the thing that happens. And then this one is, I believe, one-handed firing before, you know, she mag dumps three times. I don't know, you guys wanted to fucking defund the police. This is where that kind of training gets you when they don't have enough money for good training. Here's some footage of the, the aftermath and holy f You can see these ladies Swiss cheese the f out of that wow. apartment. Wow. I mean, they were firing like nine millimeter was half off. As you can see, we have some bullets going through the wall, into another wall, and then through that wall. Some serious penetration going on here. Mind you, like I said before, wow. this is an apartment building. Did that say, looking at the numbers on there, I guess it corresponds to how many shots were fired. You're up in the 60s. Wow. Is it, the number, yeah. It looks like again, yeah. It, it could be penetration, like they're not, it's gone through one wall. Isn't that's number one, and then that wall, number two, number three, then I want type thing. Yeah, yeah, true, true. But then they'd have to identify which yeah. one corresponds to the which one. one, yeah. one mm. Wow. But if they both mag dumped at least twice, they've probably got 16 rounds in each. That's You're up like to 64 shots mess. there, aren't you? It's like someone's just got like a don't know, bean a bonnet there and thought, no, I'm going to go out and fucking empty my load today. Yeah. And that's just yeah. what they've done in it. They're just it's like just a proper gung ho, that. <laughs> wow. But the thing is, if you hear. So someone knocking on your door at quarter to three in the morning mm. in somewhere like Texas where you can yeah. defend your house, yeah. you're probably going to answer the door with a gun, yeah, aren't you? are probably picking your gun up, aren't you? Oh, so yeah. Like, yeah. Especially if you then hear a car alarm going off mm. as yeah. well. So yeah. you're going to think, oh, right, what's going on sort of thing. Yeah, you're not expect to get fucking furnished with fucking bullets. No, no, no. not at all. Wow. Uh, yeah. Crazy, crazy. Oh. Some serious penetration going on here. Mind you, like I said before, this is an apartment building with dozens of families living there. After retreating a bit to collect themselves after the, the mag dump Olympics, the officers then go inside to render aid to the lady. They get her to the hospital and she's in stable condition. After all that, they, they still couldn't manage to kill her, which 
Thankfully, she did have some bullet wounds to her chest, stomach, thigh, calf, and foot. What the officers wow. didn't know is the victim was staying in a friend's apartment. After returning from being out for the night, she realized she didn't have a key, so yes, she did break the window and go inside. That's probably what the neighbor heard and reported to the police. She shouldn't have done that. She shouldn't have broken her friend's apartment window. It's a bit extreme, but it's probably safer than sleeping outside in Houston. Maybe not in this case, though. The Harris County DA is investigating the case, which is standard in any officer-involved shooting, but but I don't think we need an investigation until this incident is totally fucked up. Right now, both officers are on administrative leave pending an investigation. But I want to know what you think in the comments below. Am I being too hard on these officers? Was the woman well within her rights to approach the door with a firearm? Go ahead and comment below. I would love to hear what you have to say. In the meantime, if you want to help support the channel, go to DonutOperator.com, watch the Unsubscribe podcast, and please buy some tickets to our live shows that we're going to be having here in Texas. There must be a legal mm. precedent for that. Like you'd think it w wouldn't be as grey. Mm, like yeah. there, there's there's an answer to that question legally. There must be. You think you you think you'd open discussions first, wouldn't you? Yeah. So to get some kind of like uh, return back and forth. Yeah. yeah. Before you started shooting. Yeah. You're allowed. Looks like she's just seen a gun. Bam. You're gun, allowed to own. All on. You're allowed to own a gun. Mm. If you're on your property, you're allowed to defend your property. Yeah. I think the problem is there. There's a broken window. Mm. Yeah, that's that's the police officer thinking. Right, someone's broken in here. But you have and to. They're thinking that that's the intruder inside, aren't they? To be fair, you have to investigate though, because mm. there oh, could yeah, be loads yeah. of reasons for a Can't broken window. Fire. A ball yeah. could have hit the window earlier yeah. in the night, and you've just shot the owner. Mm. True. Yeah. But you, you don't know, do you? You've yeah. got no clue why that window's broken. I think they probably put that together, but straight away instead of thinking about it, what the different permutations, they thought. That's been broken on purpose. They've broken in. That's the person that's broken in. Yeah. And they're trying to shoot us. That's yeah. what they thought in a split second. The amount of times they've fired, though, I mean, jeez. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of shot. me, that shots is, without really that engaging is first. Overkill, that is the sheer wow. panic. Yeah. It's proper yeah. panic. Like. Yeah, very much so. It's terrifying, isn't it? And she's lucky she's still alive. Very, oh, very much. Yeah, yeah. see the amount of bullet holes yeah. in the walls. Uh, yeah, well, I think, wow. she's, I think she's going to be a millionaire when she gets out of hospital, that's for sure. <sighs> Something doing on that yeah, one, for sure. So. Without a doubt. You've got to, yeah. like, I mean, kind of what he said is you shouldn't be stood right there on the door, step to the side, try yeah. and open a dialogue yeah. through the door. You can't just shoot someone because they've got a gun. But if you see their, someone, you property. shout to them first, don't you? you? Yeah. You shout to them again. And if there's still no response and they've got a gun and they start waving a gun around, then yeah, I can't yeah. get the, the reason of open fire. But yeah. they didn't even speak to her. True, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They've just gone in, seen her through the what's and just gone, oh shit, bam, 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 bam. Yeah, so, yeah it's, 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 that, it's just the amount of shots for me as well. Mm. It's just yeah. it's such overdue. Jeez. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. It's a scary Perfect, situation, yeah. though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, just a bit. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Cheers.